Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Manta, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make a very, very simple, easy, no bake blueberry delight. Y'all, you heard me right. It is so, so delicious, and you can actually use any fruit of your choice. So, without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, friends, so we're going to start off by making a uh, crust. I am using today this honey made graham crackers and I will be using my food processor to crush this. Okay, so in total, I used about 14 of these large crackers. As you can see, they're the big ones. So I just put it in there and just blend it and it just does the job for me. If you do not have a food processor, just put everything in a Ziploc, close it, and then use a blunt object like um, a rolling pin and just beat on it and it would crush it really good. But the food processor works faster and it's just easier for me. So this is what it looks like. So to that, I'm gonna be adding 10 tablespoons of um, butter. So this is melted butter and I use my unsalted Kerrygold butter. So that's an equivalent of one stick and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm just gonna dump that all in there. And to that, I am gonna be adding half a cup of light brown sugar to that. And also about a teaspoon of cinnamon. Y'all do not miss this step. See that um, the light brown sugar and the cinnamon makes or break this recipe. So do not miss it. I love the touch in this recipe. So just blend everything together and this is what we're gonna use to form a crust. Now I'm gonna be using a nine by 13 baking pan today. So I'm just gonna dump out all the crushed um, uh, cracker mixture into my pan. And all I'm gonna be doing is just using a spatula or the back of your spoon to press it down firmly because we want to form the crust that way we can cut it and you know it'll be like a pie so yeah just press it down firmly to form that beautiful crust you're gonna love it i mean at this point it tasted so good and y'all know Kerrygold gold is the ish it's good quality and i love it so this is what it looks like now once i'm done i'm gonna cover it up and put it in my refrigerator to chill for about 30 minutes that would enable the butter you know to um firm up a little bit in the meantime in a tall bowl i'm gonna be adding eight ounces of cream cheese this is already soft and i brought it out for about an hour or so so it's already soft so to that i am just going in with my hand mixer and just try to you know soften everything and just blend it really nicely and make sure that you're stopping to scrape the your beaters and all of that that way you're getting a nice and even um creamy mixture. To that, I will be adding one cup of powdered sugar. Go ahead and cream the sugar and the cream cheese together until it's nice and smooth. If this is your first time coming across um, my channel or my page, you are absolutely welcome. My name is Manta, like I said, and on this channel, I keep, like to keep it very simple yet so delicious. To this, I'm going to be adding a healthy splash of vanilla, so about one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I love, love, love that. It just ties it all together. So just go ahead and give that a quick whisk. And just like that, we are ready. Scrape the sides of your bowl. And now to the next step, I am going to add in eight ounces of Cool Whip. Now, if you prefer to make your own um, heather whipping cream, go ahead and do that. But like I said, this recipe is super, super simple and easy and we're just keeping it at that. So dump in the whole eight ounces of Cool Whip and this is gonna give it that cream cheese like filling, but yet it's gonna be like clouds, really light and airy and I absolutely love. So yeah, just go ahead and incorporate that and once everything is blended together, this is our final um, filling that we're gonna be putting and our blueberry delight this is what it looks like look at that oh so good y'all all right so moving on to the next step our crust has been chilling in the refrigerator so now it is time to bring it out and we're gonna see what it looks like and what we're gonna do next is to add in a layer of that cream cheese filling that we just made so i'm gonna add the whole thing on there 
and just try to spread it as evenly as possible you know nothing too fancy but i just try to make it as evenly as possible and i find it easier to work with the back of a spoon just because um the consistency is so soft and this is what it looks like again cover it up and let it chill for an additional 30 minutes or so in the meantime we're gonna move on to our star of the show our uh, blueberries here i have two cans these are 21 ounce can so i got two of those and these are the blueberry pie filling with my favorite duncan Hines brand y'all should already know by now so yeah i'm just gonna open those these are actually really good on their own they actually come with like real blueberries <laughs> i can talk today yeah so they're actually very delicious but you know man so i i have to put my touch on it i have to add that mansa touch so yeah once we empty out all the two cans I'm just going to go ahead and just mix it together really quickly. And y'all, this consistency is just so beautiful and it's actually delicious. And what I like about it is that it's not too sweet. Now to that, I'm going to be adding a heaping cup of fresh blueberries. These blueberries are so big. I got them from Sam's Club. Oh, they're so big. To that, we're going to jazz it up even more by adding the zest of one whole lemon. I always say this. Always find a chance to zest up your um, desserts. It just elevates it to next level. Look at that. And it smells so delicious. So yeah, we got a blueberry filling store-bought. We got a fresh blueberries, nicely washed. And we got the fresh zest. Heavenly. It is absolutely delightful. Now, this is what we're going to use and add as a layer over that cream cheese layer that we added initially. Oh, it's just so satisfying and I hope you guys are liking it so, so much. Y'all, <laughs> I don't know how many times I grabbed the spoon and was just going at it. And the good thing about this dessert is that it is even best when you make it ahead of time. So if you know you're getting guests that evening, you could just make it in the morning because the longer it sits, the better it even gets. You can even make this like a day before you need it so it's super easy and i'm all about those life um saving and time saving tips so to that i have a second pack of cool whip that i'm just gonna add to the top so this has not been mixed with cream cheese or anything this is just regular cool whip or again just simply make your own um heavy whipping cream you know with the powdered sugar and that vanilla and um the heavy whipping cream and you will be good to go. I'm going to garnish it with some fresh lemon zest and also extra um, graham cracker crumbs. Now, I actually tried to save some from my previous one, but I forgot. So I quickly just made a little bit more. Or you could simply just take the crumbs and just blend it over there. But I like that buttery, um, the buttery taste on it. So yeah, of course, I made some mess. So we're cleaning as we go. And now you want to let this chill in the refrigerator for at least two to three hours. Or like I said, you could even make it ahead of time, like the day before um, or in the morning. And this is what it looks like. It's been sitting for about two hours because for the purpose of this video, I really did not have time to let it sit longer than that. Um, so we're going to cut into it as usual and see what we are working with. And just like that, Ta-da! How delightful is this? The color just makes me so happy. You know, it's it's actually fall, but we do not want to say goodbye to, to, to summer just yet. So I feel like this is that perfect transition dessert that you need. It is the right amount of um sugar for me. And that crust, let me tell you, that crust is a bomb. I really hope you guys get to try it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to share with your friends and family. And until I catch you in my next one, y'all stay safe. I love you all. Bye.